are your three minute advantage. So you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. 82 degrees right now in the Magic City. We do have this west southwest wind at about five miles per hour. It's just a small little slight breeze, not really helping out too much with our comfort level. As the temperature starts to climb, the heat index also climbing up. 84 degrees is what it feels like out there when you put the heat and humidity uh, together, that combination. The temperatures will just get hotter and hotter each day during the seven day forecast, and it will feel closer to 90, maybe even low 90s in the seven day forecast. A strong to Severe storms are possible because we do still have a little bit of cooler air locked up in Canada and the jet stream will eventually nudge into the deep south enough to bring down those temperatures closer to spring like uh, feeling and a little less humidity too for Mother's Day weekend. So that's our uh, our headlines here on the Weather Center. We're looking at the time frame for some, some stronger storms really as the front pushes through because you're going to see a, a much drier air mass replacing all of this humidity Thursday night and into Friday. They are looking at at that slight risk for strong storms, likely around areas of the I-65 corridor and then drifting into the Tennessee Valley and the Peach State too. We have our WVTM 13 live Doppler radar always in real time scanning the skies. That's what that blue line is as it slices through the atmosphere. We can see lightning, we get rain totals, and every single minute counts when you're tracking strong storms. Even when they do pop up in the afternoon, it may only last three, four minutes. We'll be tracking it the entire time. So there's a couple of things happening in the atmosphere right now. There is a frontal boundary that's just kind of draped across the Tennessee Valley, and there's also a decent amount of action happening around a warm front that's lifting up into the southern plains. So all that is fancy talk for a couple of air masses clashing, and you're going to see some stronger storms, especially in the southern plains this afternoon, 80s, and we're talking 50s right behind it. That's a 30 degree temperature difference. So we're not going to see that much of a vast temperature difference when the front pushes through, but we can likely say goodbye to those temperatures getting into the mid 80s at 1121 in the morning. So rain chances highest on Friday because this is a more well organized weather feature, not just your run of the mill pop up showers that we're expecting today, likely with the heating of the day. So between about three and six, about a 30% chance in your seven day forecast. Those scattered storms again making that plan because we do expect to see impacts from weather from storms on Friday and right now we're still at 24 48 hours out from even making those preparations. So now is the time to plan. Grab our apps set those alerts because beyond Friday the weekend and into early next week is smooth sailing. It just gets hot. Rick.